In ultra hardcore, death, death is, is inevitable. inevitable. It came for my friend, and it will come for me. But in UHC Generations, the world lives on. Hello, it's been a while. Welcome back. Last episode, we were visited by an old friend, Flaming Moai. And we also put together these animal pens up here. Sort of hoping that this grass will eventually spread down to the sheep pen because they're all looking very naked right about now. We also found out in the last episode that the treasure at the center of the world wasn't what I thought it was, so we're going to have to revisit that area very soon. But first, there's something very cool that I want to show you. Not that. That's just not that. No, not that. This. No, still not that. Oh, hey, there it is. Look at that. This is some artwork by Soupy Goodness, and I'll put a link in the description. But basically, this depicts me walking around being uh, guided by Flaming Moai there from the last episode. So I was absolutely blown away to see this. Um, I have had to scale it down quite a lot to make it into a painting. So I've added some outlines just so you can actually kind of see it a bit more clearly. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you all. And I don't know how many paintings there are in Minecraft, but we've got room for a few more. So if anyone else wanted to make some artwork, I think it'd be really nice to just decorate this with some artwork that maybe tells a bit of a story. And now I'm just gonna head back to the center of the world and see if we can find whatever it is that we missed last time around. There it is. Zero zero is here. Sure enough, there it is. Zero zero zero. Oh my goodness. I was nervous that we weren't gonna find anything actually. Final message by Flaming Moai and Moai's golden apple. That, that needs to go on a wall somewhere. Hi, it's Flaming Moai. I'm writing this message at the center of this Minecraft world, not knowing if it will ever be found. Oh, it was found, my friend. If it has, and you're now reading this, then it means that UHC Generations has continued on past my initial life. I'm glad. Whether you know it or not, you just made my dream come true. Oh, it somehow feels like I'm more alone now than ever. Now that I've read that final message, it's like there's nothing else. <laughs> Do subscribe to Flaming Moai if you haven't already. He makes some great content and he was the brains behind this whole concept. Anyway, the good news is that we've found that now. We've officially found the treasure. So we can tick off that quest once and for all. Oh, it's always so nice to see the clock tower in the distance. It's such an iconic landmark. Right, I do actually have a project that I wanted to work on, but I'm going to need a lot of wool. And right now that doesn't look very likely. So I think while I wait for this grass to grow, which it still hasn't really at all, I will do a bit of work on my animal pens just to give me a bit of room to grow. I think I'm going to start by just leveling a lot of this ground just to give me some more space to work with. And then I might even just place a bunch of dirt down, which will eventually, touch wood, become grass. Because at the moment, I mean, this isn't very animal friendly, all this terracotta. Obviously this kind of looks like garbage right now, but I'm hoping, hoping that the grass will spread and then it should be all right. If you whack down a couple of gates, like so, this creates a sort of airlock system. So you can come in here, close the gate, and then you can go in and out. There's no danger of the animals escaping. No, oh, go. Why? Literally all three of them dodged the enclosure just then. No. Oh. Ah, come on. Cool, chickens, check. No, oh my goodness. They just love escaping. You give them an inch and they take a mile. Come on. <laughs> they know, it's like they know I'm about to cut off this area of the pen, so they're all going to that far corner. Be free within the constraints of your new pen. Are you quite finished? Get out of there. Thank you. All right, that is all the pens. I'm pretty chuffed with that. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's a lot better than what we had before. Ah, <sighs> Quilby videos, eh? 
A lot more fun than watching grass grow. I've got one seed left. So I can't feed these animals for very long unless I make a crop farm as well. I could squeeze something in here. I could put some little mini farms in down here. I want to get like a good balance of aesthetics and utility. All right, let's do it. That's actually not a bad little farm. It fits in quite nicely, I think. And now I'm going to just quickly see if I can find some more seeds. I wonder if my guy that I captured is still kicking about. No! I thought the creatures wearing armor couldn't despawn, but he's gone. How did a sheep get in the cow pen? I, was he born there? Was he born across the fence? I just have to hope that the sheep comes through and not the cows. Uh, okay, this is not going well. I think I need a lead. This is out of control. Come on, pal. There's another... How is this happening? It's actually super annoying to get in and out of the pens using these, like, airlock fence gates that I've created. Is that... is that safe? No! No, oh no, they're jumping out! He really doesn't want to go back in his pen. Yep, yeah, come on. Not you. You go back in. No! No! <laughs> All right, things are ticking along nicely. The grass has spread almost all the way to the edges now of this little plateau. And I really like the way it looks. It's just very colorful. My animals are happy, they're well fed, and most importantly, they're growing me lots and lots of wool. I'm gonna need some scaffolding, and I'm gonna need some dye, which means I need to find some yellow flowers. Also, can you dye non-white wool? Oh no! What, you can't... You can't dye wool that's not white? Oh, that's... That's a problem. That's really annoying. I'm... Oh no! I'm gonna have to cull my... Oh, this feels... This feels like... Something not right about this. I'm gonna have to kill all the grey sheep. Because I don't want... I don't want that grey wool. It's useless to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm such a terrible person. But you all have to die. It's just the way of things. <laughs> We're down to just, what, five sheep? But there's another grey one. What? They're grey again. Ugh. We don't want your kind here. I'm, no, I'm sorry. I can't say that. But I do mean it, you know. Are you kidding me? Almost every single sheep was grey. This place just blows me away every time. I love it. So my idea is to build a giant bee house that's just floating in the sky above the fields. Obviously bees are kind of my thing and I feel like it just fits the vibe of this place, you know, like a giant bee pollinating all these flowers. The only problem is we have to build it like really high up in the sky, which is terrifying because one drop and that's game over. I've got all the way here and then I've remembered I don't have white wool to dye. Well, that's all I can do, so I'm going to go back and get more wool. I went back and forth a few times, but it quickly became apparent that I needed a lot more wool. So I decided to do some more work around the base while I waited. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show all this on camera because my plan is to hide some cookies around the base for the next person to find. Sort of like a little treasure hunt. Sheep! These must be the sheep that Flaming Moai was talking about. He said he'd corralled some sheep. This is another village that I haven't really explored. Might have a little look around. <gasps> this is Mr. Blue Sky! <laughs> oh man, that was the one quest that I had no idea how to do. It was find Mr. Blue Sky, and here he is. Hey buddy, how you doing? Wait, you like seeds, right? I can't feed him. I think maybe because he's already owned, but I found him! All I had to do was explore a little bit. Another quest 
ticked off the list. I'm glad about that because I had no idea at all what that entail. Oh, there's a ton of wool! Oh, Flaming Moa, you are a godsend. All right, I've hidden 10 cookies around Founders Town. So the next thing I need to do is actually make that into an official quest. Find 10 cookies. I'm not gonna put it on the notice board because it's not a quest that I can personally do. I'm gonna put it in this new player quests chest instead. We have plenty of wool now, so the next step will just be to go back to the bee and try and get that finished. There it is! It's coming together. I mean, you know, it's like a, a bee boat right now. First night in the bee house. Ooh, okay, we're out of wool. That's as far as we could take it. We're, we're about halfway, I'd say. happy with how this is shaping up. It's very nearly done, at least structurally. Without the light blue, he just kind of looks dead inside. And it doesn't help that he's got no wings. Oh, and no feet. They're meant to have little feet. One more round trip should do the trick. Something like that. Have I? Oh no. I've made the whole thing too small. It's not looking too bad. This is probably the only time ever that you would want brown glass. I just can't leave it like that. I've got to, I've got to finish the wings. It looks so cool now. I really like that. It's going to be even better when I take out the scaffolding. Just this bee hovering above the field. I know I keep saying this, but it really is kind of nerve wracking being this high up because if I make one wrong move, that's it. I'm, whoa, no, no, no. I can't believe you fell for that. This is not the same world. That was a setup. It's okay, I'm safe. And there it is. I'm pretty happy with that. The bee will forever watch over the fields of regeneration. Mm -hmm.